The broadcast of these playoff games has been authorized by a special arrangement with the Board of Directors of the South Dakota High School Activities Association. And hello again, welcome to Aberdeen, South Dakota. South Dakota playoff basketball tonight. The winner advancing to the State B Boys Basketball Tournament. Rob Waltman courtside. We are cross town tonight at the Aberdeen Ron Colley Cavalier Gym. A capacity of 1,400 in this gym and we are full. There is standing room only on the sidelines here tonight at the Ron Colley Gym. So a jam-packed crowd tonight in a big game for Aberdeen Christian as they are the top dog in state b-boys basketball the underdog warner monarchs are in town i say that only because they pulled the minor upset in region 2b to get here but let's look at the warner monarchs they have a storied long tradition of excellent basketball just south of the hub city and the upstart aberdeen christian knights looking for their first chance to go to the state b-boys basketball tournament and put their mark on this program. This program has been in existence just 12 years. Of course, the Rohrbox through the years started by Dave Palmer, and now it has come to this. Can they put their stamp on this program and send it to the State B Tournament? Like Warner has done so many times in the 80s, they were there three times. In the 90s, put together a string of four title games, two championships in a seven-year run, and most recently, the Warner Monarchs were the 2016 State B champions. So, Warner with a long tradition. They come in just 13 and 8. And, of course, the huge underdog to the number one team in South Dakota Class B basketball, the Aberdeen Christian Knights. They may be the hottest team in the state next to DeSmit and Harriet Selby and the likes of Arlington. If we look at the Sodak 16 and the brackets around South Dakota, here's what we have going on. DeSmit is the number one seed in this Sodak 16 tournament. They have won 17 of their last 18 games. They are red hot. The Bulldogs are 20-2, and two, and they get number 16, Coleman Egan, just a 500 club. That is at the Corn Palace. DeSmit is ranked number two right behind Aberdeen Christian in the last Class B basketball poll. For the Christian Knights, they've won 13 in a row, coming off a couple of regional wins handily. Over at the uh, Civic Arena, they are 20-2. and two. And, of course, you know the story there with the number one ranking here for nearly a month. Warner coming in the 15 seed. Viberg Hurley, 18-3. and three. They take on Elkton Lake Benton. They upset Hansen by 20 points in Region 4 action to get that far. They are 16-6 and six and did away with highly ranked Hansen. They were fifth in the latest poll, and they are done. And Viberg Hurley has the number 14 seed tonight. Platt Geddes has come in with 12 wins in a row. They are 19-3. They get Timberlake in the Sodak 16. They are the 13th seed. On the other side of the bracket, White River, no stranger to state tournaments. They have Lyman, a team they have beaten twice this year, and they've beaten them handily in both occasions. White River has won 9 of 10, 19-3 on the season. Marty and Faith in the other bracket, a couple of teams that have won six in a row. Faith, no stranger to state tournaments. They have won 19 on the season, as has Marty. And Sully Buttes coming in, seven wins in a row. They have Harriet Selby. It is a regional, a regional Sodak 16 game there. Both teams out of Region 2B. That should be a dandy. No strangers to each other. Harriet Selby, though, winning 10 in a row. And Sully Buttes has lost to this club February 11th. It was a 53-46 win for the Wolverines of Harriet Selby. That in Selby. Very interesting game there. That's the 7 10 matchup tonight and the 8-9 matchup in the Sodak 16 has Arlington winners of 11 in a row against a very good Canastota team they are 18 and 4 so there is your bracket for the Sodak 16 all the winners move on to the South Dakota Class B boys basketball tournament just down the street here in the hub city just getting ready for the starting lineups. We are live streaming latest, we've been told. Thanks for joining us on this live stream. This will be our last one this year. 
Now we're up to 16 states. We have added Washington, Oregon, and Minnesota to our list of live streamers out there. And Brent, I know you're listening in Washington. Welcome along as we uh, watch the Aberdeen Christian Knights try to make history here tonight for this young program. It has been a long journey for the Knights. Just 12 years, but a lot of work put into this program. Boosters and sponsors and behind-the-scenes things that you don't see happen on the court. Players and parents uh, traveling here and there. And, of course, the Roarbucks have been a big part of this Christian Night program. And David on the sidelines with Michael. And trying to see if Andrew, the youngest of this Roarbuck clan, can get the Knights all the way to the state tournament here tonight. But they'll have their hands full with the Warner Monarchs. Well, they are going to the starting lineups, and with that, let's look at our starting lineups. First for the Warner Monarchs here tonight at the Ron County Gym. They start with Landon Lightholt, a 6-4 forward and just a junior. Spencer Ketterling is 5'10". He is a senior. Ben Fishback is a senior in 5'11". Peyton Jung, a 6'3 sophomore, and Alex Braun, a 6'2". Junior. The head coach is Derek Hayline. The Monarchs are 13 and 8. Winners out of Region 1B over Wabe Summit. And that upset over Leola Frederick to make it this far. Very odd that this Sodak 16 game would have the Knights and Warner traveling very little. The Knights in home in town. Warner just up the street, a couple of miles south here of the Hub City. So nobody has to travel very far at all tonight, and that worked out well with Warner beating Lola Frederick, at least for the Aberdeen Christian Knights. Derek Hayline is the head coach, and that's how the Warner Monarchs start it off. And good evening, welcome to Aberdeen Christian and the Knights. And they will start it this way, Jackson Isaacson and Andrew Rohrbach in the backcourt. 6'3 and 6 foot, a freshman and a senior. Jared Pearson, a 6'4 senior. Brent E. Conger, a 6'6 junior. And Jet Becker is a junior at 6'3. So it's Pearson, E. Conger, Becker, Rohrbach, Isaacson for head coach David Rohrbach. The Knights. The Knights are being introduced. We are just about ready for action here on this live stream, courtesy of HubCityRadio.com. Rob Waltman courtside, jam-packed in the booth. We are jam-packed in this facility. It should be a great night of basketball as March Madness rolls on. The Class B Girls State Tournament is starting on Thursday in Spearfish, and we punch our tickets to the State B for Class B Boys. We started off tonight here at Aberdeen Ron Collie. This is a night program the last three seasons that have won 13 or more games each of the last three seasons. Last year, 14-7, and seven, eventually losing in the region to the eventual B champion, Clark Willow Lake. And is this the year the Knights make magic? Is this the year they push it all the way to the state B? As Warner has done so many times, can the Knights do it here tonight at the Aberdeen Ron Kelly Gym? Let's listen in courtside for tonight's national anthem.
With that, we are ready for basketball. This is Rob Waltman. And the Knights huddle up in front of the bench. This is it. The Kenny Loggins song would say back in the 80s. And here we go. Andrew Roebuck dumped in 37 in the regional championship. That is a career high. Unofficially, I had him for 36 that night. But the official number was 37. I was told last night that is his career high. He is closing in on Michael's record. Brother Michael of 1,400 and some odd points. He would need the state tournament to break Michael's all-time scoring record at Aberdeen Christian. He would need a few more games to get that done, but he is right there uh, behind Brother Michael for the uh, scoring honors at Aberdeen Christian. And here we go. This should be an exciting game here tonight. Warner in the blue and the Knights in the white. And the tip is out of bounds, and they're going to re-jump this or give it to whom? It goes to the Warner Monarchs to start their first possession. 2016, they won it all at the State B. And here they are, a chance to punch their ticket yet again for the Monarchs. Here's a backdoor slip all the way to the rim. And Fishback with a great play for the Monarchs to start this one off. Fishback slipping back door and an easy layup. Rohrbach now attacking what appears to be a man-for-man -man defense. E. Conger takes it into the lane, stops his dribble, throws it out to Jet Becker. Chasing is Ketterling on Rohrbach. Andrew has it right side, deep on the right side, feeds it back out. Now down into Pearson. One bounce, strong to the hoop. Turn around, jump shot, good. Jared on the bucket there to get the Knights their first one, tying the game at two. Top of the key, Light Hope. Feeding Ketterling right side. Brown is hosting inside. Here's a jump shot by Fishback. No good. Rebounded by E. Conger. And Pearson saves him from a turnover there. Off to Rohrbach. Behind his back. Right to left. Bounces down the lane. Throws it up inside. And it's blocked and taken away by the Monarchs. Ahead they come. Jung. Peyton Jung holds on the wing. Feeds it up to Lightholt. Now to Ketterling. Top of the key of three taken by Fishback. No good. Rebound inside by Warner. Another possession and another three taken by Jung. This one will rattle out. No good. And the rebound chased down by Rohrbach. Almost taken away there by Warner. We're tied at two. A minute and a half in here at the Ron Colley Gym in the Sodak 16. The number one team in all of Class B. Here they are in the white unis, the Aberdeen Christian Knights. E. Conger posting inside. Here's Rohrbach on the left corner. Bounce it to E. Conger. He'll bounce, sweep across the rain, throw it out to Jet Becker. His three on the way, and good! Jet Becker dials it up from long range. These Knights were in a shooting funk for about three games and seem to have snapped out of it to some degree at the arena on the region championship. Lightholt spinning on E. Conger. Takes him inside, off the window, puts it up and in. Landon Lightholt. First bucket here tonight for the Monarchs. A 5-4 night lead. Rohrbach, screen set high by Becker. He'll give it off to Jackson Isaacson right side. Now skip it over to Rohrbach. He liked that spot right there at the arena the other night. He drives and dishes E. Conger. 14-footer is blocked. E. Conger got it back. Feeds it out to Rohrbach. His first three on its way. Yes! Andrew Rohrbach hits another. 8-4. Aberdeen Christian the lead. A baseline drive and a blocking foul on the baseline by Pearson. As Jung tried to attack. 13 wins in a row. 20 wins on the season for these Knights. Beating Langford and Northwestern in Region 1B play. Their last loss was January 14th against Class A Groton. And here Warner trying to work it into Light Holtz. Out of bounds. Pearson cannot save it, and it stays with the Monarchs. A four-point lead for the Knights. The Monarchs will toss in Ketterling right side with it. Drop it inside to Braun. He'll work. Nothing there. Feed it in the corner. Jung can't shoot. Will drive. Throw up a tough shot. Pearson is there. And Peyton Jung 
Able to draw the foul on Pearson. That is his second, and that's the thing with these Knights. They cannot afford to get that big front line in foul trouble. Econger prone to foul trouble over the course of the season, and Pearson now is tagged with his second. So he'll have to come out, and the youngster, Caden Clark, is going to be in early. And log some minutes here. Caden Clark is just a freshman and six foot three. Jung missed his first free throw, and he'll try another, and that is good. So now it's eight to five. Three point night lead, 4.50 to go in the first corner. Orbach hitting his first three. Jet Becker hitting his first three. Here's Andrew right side. Bouncing inside, Econger turning off the window. No, rebounded by Braun underneath by Warner. Midway through the first quarter in a packed facility here at the Round County Gym. What great atmosphere in March Madness. Kettling trying to slip back door. Braun can't find him the pass. Throws it out to Jung. Now over to Kettling, right side. Rohrbach is there. He'll give it up with the basketball is Fishman. Back over to Kettling. Shot clock now rolling at... 10 as uh, Lightholt drives the lane, throws up a uh, runner that won't fall, and the rebound slapped around, finally picked up by the Knights. Rohrbach at midcourt, surveys and looks. He has three on four. He'll drive, dish to Isaacson. He launches a three, and they're on fire tonight. Everybody hitting their first three. Isaacson really has struggled the last three games, and he sees his first one go in here at the Ron Conley Gym. 11-5 to five the score. Aberdeen Christian. Lightholt tries to drive again into a double team. Throws it off the window. No. Backside rebound. Jung. And they're going to stay over the back. John Warner. I think they got Braun on that, and they did his first. Braun picks up his first. And the Knights come out three for three from long range. Warbach, Becker, Isaacson. All from different spots on the court with 3.30 to go. Threatening to take this up early by double digits. High screen. There's Rohrbach. Look at the ball handling skills there. Feeds it off to Clark. Now goes inside. Feed it back up to Becker. Should we get all the way around Econger? He'll throw it out. Rohrbach. Try another one there. Yes! Oh, my. Andrew Rohrbach again. And a timeout by Warner. 3.13 to go in the first. It's the Knights 14, the Monarchs 5, as you watch this live stream of playoff basketball from HubCityRadio.com. thing you can say that's gone wrong so far is Pearson has two fouls and has to sit down here. He'll stay on the bench out of the timeout, but uh, the Monarchs don't want to see the Knights come out of their slump totally for three threes already. Four threes that is as Roback has two and they are dialed in tonight. Here's John top of the key for the Monarchs started by Caden Clark, the freshman replacing Pearson. Drop it inside Braun. He'll turn, hook shot nope, rebounded Becker. And now the Knights can go up by double digits. Ahead of the pack is Isaacson. Catches the entry pass. It's going to be short on the rim. No good on the shot. And there's a whistle and a foul on Caden Clark of Aberdeen Christian. Isaacson was ahead. Had a clear path. The pass was just a little bit short. And he had to stop and wait for that. And then a foul on Caden Clark. His first. So Warner basketball. Ketterling. Stops and gives off on the wing to Lighthope. Now up to Jung, back to Ketterling, man for man by the Knights. Top of the key, new to the game, Hunter Kramer. He's an uh, eighth grader, 11th grader, pardon me. Let me check that again. Hunter Kramer is an eighth grader, yes. Here is Lightholt inside, off the window, got it. Lightholt has four for the 6'4 junior. Hunter Kramer just checking in, a 5'11 eighth grader. Number 10. 
Driving is Rohrbach. Feeding E. Conger. Got it. Off the window, Brent E. Conger gets his first basket. All the starters have scored now for Aberdeen Christian with two minutes to left in the first quarter. Peyton Jung into Braun. And a traveling is called as he tried to work his way in on Jeff Becker. Alex Braun with the travel and the turnover. Another substitution coming in. Sawyer Strohshine will check in. He's a senior and six foot four. Fishback will come back in and give Jung a break. And here comes Malik Weaker. For the Knights, a freshman, 5'11", Caden Clark. The other freshman sits down as Pearson Tag with those two fouls. We'll sit through this first quarter in a comfortable lead now early at 16 to 7. 153 to go in the quarter. Warbach directing traffic, three-quarter court. Crosses the mid-stripe line between his legs. Three bounces now behind his back. Look at him dribble that basketball. He is like a video game. Warbach hits again. He can do more things on the court than I can do with a joystick and a PlayStation. Let me tell you, he is a human video game. And the score now is 18 to 7. Aberdeen Christian out in front early. Lightholt, top of the key. Fakes on E. Conger. Takes him down the lane. Feeds it out to Ketterling. No shot there. And a bad pass through the Monarchs. Legs of fish back, and he cannot save it. Turnover goes to Aberdeen Christian. I've said it again. I enjoy watching it. It is a pleasure to watch. Andrew Rohrbach's ball handling skills are bar none to anybody. He can really, it's like that ball is on a string. It's just an extension of his body. And when I say that, he nearly turned it over. He doesn't make many mistakes handling the basketball. Here he is right side. Again, dribbling between the legs. Feeds it off to Isaacson. 18 to 7 is the score. E. Conger gets point blank again. And another one with the left hand for Brent E. Conger. 20 to 7 here at the Ron Colley Gym with 50 seconds to go in the first. Entry pass too long. Brent will let it go out of bounds, and it goes right back to the Knights, and the Monarchs are in big trouble here tonight at the Ron County Cavalier Gym. 13-point deficit late here in the first quarter. Monarchs have won 13 against eight losses. And to advance, have to knock off the number one team in State B. Jackson Isaacson to Weaker. And he's going to try to dial one up, but he traveled. He hit it, but he traveled as he was ready to shoot. That one went in as well. Wave it off. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. The Monarchs need a basket here to settle them down. Spencer Ketterling met by Rohrbach at midcourt. Rohrbach pounding defense there. Ketterling in trouble. Feeds out to Lightholt. 15 seconds left. Lightholt will drive on E. Conger. Nearly traveled. E. Conger blocks it, and here come the Knights. Ahead to Rohrbach. Nine seconds to go. Andrew coming at midcourt with seven seconds to go and five seconds to go. Weaving, dodging through the lane, and an offensive foul on Andrew Rohrbach with 2.1 seconds to go. So the Monarchs can take the final shot here of the quarter. Throw it in at half court. Good if it goes. No, and that's the end of one in the Sodak 16 here in Ron Collins. Aberdeen Christian 20, the Warner Monarch 7 as you watch this live stream from HubCityRadio.com.
Second quarter underway. Rob Waltman in the Ron Colley gym. Our live stream tonight up and rolling. Florida, New York, Indiana, and Ohio. Colorado, California, Oklahoma, Arizona, and Michigan. Kansas, Georgia, Missouri, Washington, Oregon, Minnesota. That is just what we know of. Thanks for tuning in and watching your nights here from HubCityRadio.com. Started with the Knights of the basketball in the big lead of 13 points. Rohrbach 8 in that first quarter. Shot clock at 12. Weaker straight away. No good. Rebounded underneath by Chung of the Warner Monarchs. They have been on a dry streak here, have the Monarchs. Ketterling up top, picked up man for man by Rohrbach. Right hole now on the perimeter, picked up by E. Conger. Feed it back out on the way. Fishback, his three. Nothing will fall for the Monarchs. And the rebound by Weaker underneath. A minute gone by into the second. Weaker feeds Isaacson. Drives baseline all the way to the rim. Finger roll, no. Rebound underneath Jung. And the Monarchs in possession again. Wanting to go into light hope. Such good defense here by the Knights all season long. Pearson is on the bench with two quick ones in the first. Shot no good by Fishman. Rebounded by Econger. Here is Isaacson pulling for three. No, weaker. Almost an over the back. Called there. So Pearson with two quick ones. Still on the bench, but a big lead here for the Knights. They'll play weaker now and play smaller right now here in the second quarter. Driving is Jung on weaker. Feeds to Braun. Braun, one bounce to the window. No, rebounded upstairs by Econger. Twenty to seven. Rohrbach right side looking for a Jet Becker screen. Now Andrew drives and dishes to Becker, who will unload the three. That'll be short, no good. Rebounded by the Monarchs. Braun underneath. Ahead to Jung. Jung will drive on weaker to the baseline. Cut off by Jet Becker out to Landhope. Spencer Ketterling right side now. They swing it around and drop it into Jung. Jung trying to attack on Weaker, throws it up. It won't go, but he did draw the foul. So Jung to the free throw line, and it should be Weaker. It is two shots. First free throw, no. Knight shooting a blazing percentage in that first quarter. Warner struggling here tonight. Pearson now back in. We'll check in with two fouls with 5.41 to go in the second. Jed Becker coming out. Caden Clark going to check in. Malik Weaker will come out. As Dave Plantin, one of our officials, organizing that. And standing in front of David Rohrbach. Second one, no good. Caden Clark the rebound, and a traveling is called on Caden Clark. Right across the way is the Warner Sea of Blue, and right under us in the booth is all the Aberdeen Christian Knight fans here at Ron Colley. Ketterling to toss in, looking for Light Hope. He'll feed it out to Jung. Give it up top to Kramer. Now back to Jung. Lightholt wants that basketball. E. Conger defending behind him. No entry pass there. Here's Kramer, the eighth grader. Off to Ketterling. He can shoot it. 16 footer. Good. His first bucket. That breaks a long stretch here for the Monarchs. 20 to 9. The Knights ripping the nets with threes in that first quarter to garner this big lead here in the second. Rohrbach using a screen top for the key. Double screen around two of them. Feeds it off to Clark. Now back up top, Isaacson. He'll drive. The freshman in the lane. Scoops and hits. Jackson feeling at home. He is the Ron Colley Cavalier starting quarterback. And here he is on the Cavalier basketball gym. Gone. Free throw line. Nothing there. Out to Jung. Free throw line straight away. Three-pointer. Good. He has four and cuts the lead down to ten. As Warbach works and dishes to E. Conger and a pass right through the defense. Stole away right through the hands of Brent. Stole away by Kramer, the freshman. The eighth grader, rather, and he feeds it off to Jung. 
Now into Braun. He'll bounce on Pearson. Pearson has two, and he gets it to go on a timeout by David Rohrbach. So they've cut it down to eight, have the Monarchs here in Ron Colley. This is South Dakota Playoff Basketball from HubCityRadio.com. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Warner cutting this lead down to eight now, and David Rohrbach takes a timeout. So we have Becker, Isaacson, Pearson back in. Rohrbach and E. Conger for Christian. Eight-point lead with the basketball. Jackson right side. Rohrbach running the baseline into Becker. He'll drive into the block deep. Throw it back out to Jackson. He'll drive. Feet up top. Pearson. He can hit that three on its way. In and out. No. Rebounded by Warner. Kramer. Monarchs want to get out a little bit here. And the defense quickly back for the Knights. Spencer Kettling works on the right side. Feeds up to Kramer. He'll drive into a double team. Pivoting. Rotating. Throws it out to Jung in the baseline. He'll drive. Slash into the lane. Throw it up. No good. Got his own rebound. Puts it up at Pearson. Is there... And it could be his third. It could be Pearson's third. It is. David Rohrbach has another decision to make early in this one. Jared stays for the time being. No, Waker's getting up now. And Jung gets the free throw. So with 3.30 to go in the second, Jared Pearson in foul trouble tonight. He will be done for the half. Malik Weaker now a smaller lineup. Isaacson Weaker and Rohrbach around the perimeter. Becker and Econger inside. Both free throws good by Peyton Jung, and all of a sudden, it's a 22-16 game. With 3.20 to go. It looked early like the Knights were going to run away with this. Here comes Warner. E. Conger gets the entry pass. Again, gets point blank. This one blocked. Got his own rebound. Point blank. Second time. Good. And Grant cleaning it up inside. Six points for E. Conger. Three minutes to go in the half. Lightholt straight away. Drives on E. Conger all the way to the left side. Lost it going to the rim. Knocked away by Brent. Nope. He lost it. Out of bounds. Last touch by Warner. Rabbit and Christian trying to go up again by double digits. Weaker works around a high screen, drives and dishes to Andrew in the corner. He'll bounce it into E. Conger. He's had plenty of success there. Throws it up with the left hand. And there he is again. Eight points in the paint for Brent E. Conger. And a 10-point lead. Lightholt wants to drive again. Brent there defending. Drives into a double team. Lost the basketball again. Here comes Robach. He's got a two on two going the other way. Andrew to the rim and the bucket and the foul. And a chance at a three-point play. Ten points for Andrew. Fishback gets the foul. His first. And the lead is back to 12. Brent E. Conger with a great game going on so far tonight. Rebounding defensively and with eight points. He'll get a breather. And Robach's free throw, nothing but net. 11 for Andrew. Lead at 13. The Monarchs have wanted to go inside, but have had little luck here against this great defense of the Knights. 
inside and out. They're great defensively. Ketterling drops it into Jung again. Back out to Ketterling. He'll bomb it for three. Nope, long rebound chase down Isaacson. In the corner, Isaacson six. Jung with the right to left behind the back. Now feeds Andrew Rohrbach, gunning for three. He's got yet another three. Three threes in the half for Andrew Rohrbach. Back the other way, the Monarchs. A drive to the bucket and a block by Caden Clark. And free throws coming for the Monarchs. Will Nilsson, the senior, new to the ball game. 14 for Rohrbach. 37 region championship, a career high, and he may get there again. 32-16. The Monarchs trying to trim the lead, and Nilsson does at the free throw line. Right here in the second corner. Should the Knights advance, it Sure looks like they'd be a two seed in the State B tournament. Nilsson gets one of two. And the rebound by Jung, and he'll take it strong to the rack. Reverse layup, no, and lost out of bounds by Jed Becker. We can get into those scenarios as we roll along in this game later, but there are some interesting scenarios for the State B that I'll tell you about later in this broadcast. E. Conger in, Caden Clark out. Good work for the youngster. 1.35 to go. Water basketball here in the second. Light Hope swings it in. Jung back up top is Fishback. His three, and Warner just cannot buy a bucket here tonight at the Ron Colley Gym. Rohrbach brings it down. 32 17, a comfortable lead. He'll stop and fire again. This one off the mark to the right. No. Rebounded by Light Hope. That would have been his fourth three here in the first half. Jump shot, Kramer. No, rebound, volleyballed around. Lighthold picks it up, stolen away by Rohrbach. He's got numbers two on one. Andrew behind the back to Weaker. The lefty throws it up, and he gets it to go. What a play. What a play by Rohrbach. Wow. Weaker, a chance at a three-point play. I think Andrew enjoys that more than score. He just he is a great passer. He loves to get everybody involved. First bucket for Weaker. Missed the free throw, but it's a 17-point lead with 50 seconds to go. In the first half, Light Hope. Trying to drive again on E. Conger. Steps through and throws it up and got it. Six for Landon Light Holt. 34-19. 33 seconds left here in the second quarter. Rohrbach wants to soak it all the way down. Differential is three, shot to game. So they'll have to take it here, leaving Warner with little time for a shot. And here's Rohrbach top of the key. 14 in the half. Watch him get busy. Here he goes. Between the legs, driving addition. Becker bombs away in the corner for three. No. Rebound backside. We have a whistle. A whistle, and I'm not sure if they call a shot clock violation. I think that's what the official is calling. They leave 2.9 seconds left on the game clock. And that'll give Warner a chance here to get a shot away. I believe that's what they called as a shot clock violation. Dave Plantine will throw it into Fishback, and he'll throw it length of the court for Lightholt, who goes down, and now the Knights will have it and a chance to do the same thing going the other way. I believe they're going to say no foul. I think they're going to give the Knights the basketball underneath their own basket. Yes, they are. 2.9 seconds to go. Okay, this will work out great for Aberdeen Christian. Chance to get a three away. Here it is. Becker to toss in. He has Rohrbach. Rohrbach catches, shoots, hangs, fires. No, weaker the backside rebound, and that's the end of one half. Here in the Sodak 16 contest, the winner moves to the State B. It is all Aberdeen Christian at halftime.
It's the Knights 34 and the Monarchs of Warner 19. We'll pause and come back for the second half, 10 minutes away here on this live stream, courtesy of HubCityRadio.com. Innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities.
We are just about ready for the second half. This is Rob Altman, courtside, our last live stream of the season. So, for those of you all around the country, South Dakota Public Broadcasting, ST, SDPB, I believe, I do believe, I'm almost 100% sure, they will stream live on their, uh, on their website, South Dakota Public Broadcasting. For the state tournament if you're wondering should the knights win where can we catch them in the state tournament south dakota public broadcasting.com right 34 19. i asked david orbach earlier i said will you get the key players out early if this one is a runaway he says it will have to be a huge huge lead a certainty of a win to pull the guys early here tonight. Here's Rohrbach and Ketterling dancing at midcourt to start the third corner with 7.53 and ticking here in the third. And Warner struggling from the floor, struggling to get inside. Jung tries to move inside, can't get it to go. Rohrbach had 14 in the first half to lead all scores. Jung had eight. Brent Ekonger with eight points. Jackson Isaacson for three, no good. Rebounded by Ekonger. Throws it back to Rohrbach. Swing it over to Pearson. Three fouls. He'll shoot the three. It'll be long, strong, no good. Oh, 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 Jared. Did he just get tagged with his fourth foul? Yes. Well, Jared is going to have to sit down again. 
he kind of rolls his eyes and says, that was silly of me. That was really, really silly. He knows. And now he has four fouls. What a commanding lead here for the Knights as Pearson sits down in the first 45 seconds here in the third. Let's see what Warner can put together here to make this interesting. Backdoor alley with Lobb. There's Lightholt. Lightholt had six first half points. And Rohrbach in charge at the top of the key. Gives it off. E. Conger has had luck inside all night long, getting point blank to the rim. See if they'll go right back in. Caden Clark, the freshman, has the entry pass. He bounces with the left hand. It's blocked from behind by Lightholt. Picked up by Isaacson. He'll drive to 15, shoot in and out. They're 0 for 3 to start the quarter. 34-21. Aberdeen Christian. 12th year of this program. And trying to run it to the B here with a win tonight. Incredible, isn't it? Foul is called. That first year of that program, Dave Palmer put together the schedule, and it was pretty tough to do. They played Roslyn four times, and Roslyn has, is no longer a school. So that tells you a lot of what they went through to put this program together, to get it this far 12 years in, and now to have this kind of success. Shot no good, rebounded by Aberdeen Christian. Here comes Andrew Robach driving and dishing. Out to Becker, back to Rohrbach. Rohrbach fakes one way, goes baseline, lost it out of bounds. Last touch by Ketterling. 13 is the lead, not comfortable enough yet for Knight fans, for sure. Rohrbach will toss it into Econger. Get it right back on the left side. 1,400 this building holds. We are jam-packed tonight. No look pass to E. Conger from Rohrbach. He drives in. Knocked away by Ketterling. Shot clock at 6. Here comes Clark. He'll have to drive and dish. Shot clock at 3. Into Clark. He'll shoot with one on the shot clock. And a shot clock by Alation. Or is it? No. It went out of bounds right at the horn. And they say last touch by Warner. Wow. And the Monarchs wanted a shot clock violation there. They wanted the shot. And they're going to discuss this. Yes, they changed the call. I agree with that. That ball never hit the rim, and the horn went off before that ball went out of bounds. So the call has been changed here, and possession to the Monarchs. Ketterling hounded by Rohrbach. Sets it up, and Rohrbach is there again, right on him to Lightholt. Ron cuts through. Lightholt will drive on Econger. Hasn't had much success. Brent holding his ground. He pulls up and hits. Four points for Landon Lightholt here in this quarter. Now ah, here comes Warner a little bit. 34-23. The lead has been trimmed again. Jet to Caden Clark. Pearson on the bench with four. Into Rohrbach. Hops and dishes to Econger. Left-handed runner. No good. Off the window. Short. And the rebound by Jung. He'll give it to Spencer Ketterling. Bounce to Jung, right side. Braun is inside. Becker defending him there. Top of the key, Fishback. Three, uh-oh. 34-26, closest Warner has been in a long time. 4.40 to go here at the Ron Colley Gym. Deep in the corner, Rohrbach. Throw it into Caden Clark, one bounce. Cutting is Isaacson, gets the pass off the window. Good, nice play. Nice play there by Isaacson. Timeout on the court by David Rohrbach. We'll pause as well. This is South Dakota Playoff Basketball from HubCityRadio.com. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities.
The Knights have the longest win streak in all Class B teams still alive tonight in the Sodex 16. 13 wins in a row. That is the longest of all the teams left. Their last loss way, way back, January 3rd. It's been a long time. 13 straight they have rattled off. And lead here by 10 against the Monarchs. Warner basketball, they can trim this to single digits again. Lightholt's had success. He drives and dishes. Fishback tries another three. No good. Long rebound. Lightholt. Another possession here for the Monarchs. Landon driving baseline, and he stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. Is that the call or a foul? A foul. A foul is called on Brent Econger. So Brent has two. Jared Pearson with four sitting on the bench. Weaker is now in for Caden Clark. And here's Fishback free throw line jumper. No good. Rebound picked up by Andrew Robach. Ten point lead. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Green set high, Andrew dishes to Weaker, who dials it up and knocks down the three. Malik Weaker from long range, five points tonight. Just a freshman. These freshmen nowadays are just mind-blowing. They are fearless. Unbelievable. Jung will drive all the way to the baseline, and a whistle blows. Traveling, yes, traveling. The era I grew up in, a freshman was scared to even sit at the end of the bench on the varsity. These kids come in and light it up. No problem. It's just unbelievable to watch. Here is Weaker again. Top of the key, driving, feeds to E. Conger. Back out to Rohrbach. Back into E. Conger. Turns, nothing there. Back to Andrew. 16 on the shot. Rohrbach wants to reset it here. He'll pop it from 15. Free throw line jumper, good. Mm. First points of the second half. Rohrbach with 17 to lead the way. 41-26. Drop it into Lightholt. Works on E. Conger. Jump shot. Good. Here comes Landon Lightholt. He has six in this half. 12 on the night. 41-28 to keep the Monarchs close. Rohrbach using a high screen set by E. Conger. Now works baseline between the lays. Drives. Floating shot. Good. Here comes Andrew Rohrbach again. 20 points tonight for Andrew. 18, pardon me, and a timeout taken on the court. 18 for Robot. 43-28. This is South Dakota High School Playoff Basketball from the Ron County Gym on HubCityRadio.com. Uh, win streak that comes close to the Christian Knight win streak. 12 in a row by Platt Gettys. They're playing tonight at Fort Pier. 10 in a row by Harriet Selby. They're playing tonight in Gettysburg. 11 in a row by Arlington. They're playing at the Sioux Falls Roosevelt Gym. 17 of 18 won by DeSmith and they're playing tonight at the Corn Palace and the other Sodak 16 qualifying games. Here's Lightholt driving in. E. Conger gets the foul. Class A boys, Sodak 16, also going on all across South Dakota, along with the Class B Sodak 16 games as well. Brent has now picked up his third. Pearson has four on the bench. And E. Conger now tagged with his third foul as Warner tosses in, looking for Lighthold. Out to Jung. Driving, jump shot there by Kramer is no good, and the rebound picked up by Andrew Robot. 43-28. 
The Aberdeen Christian Knight lead. Weaker backs into a three. Fires from the right corner. No good. Rebound. It is Warner's. Light holds. Two minutes to go as Warner trying to stick around here tonight. Light hold top of the key. Feeds it off to Hunter Kramer. Right side. He'll drop it into Braun. And another travel on Warner. And a turnover. Alex is a 6-2 junior. This Warner Club has two senior starters, a lot of youth. And if you're uh, familiar with South Dakota basketball, Warner has a long, strong basketball tradition. Rohrbach top of the key doing his thing, dancing and dribbling. Here he fires to Jackson on the wing. His three no good. Nope, it fell in. It did not look like it was going to fall. Jackson Isaacson has his second triple tonight. The Knights opened up hot. They have cooled since, but they hit everything in that first uh, half of that first quarter. Hitting like four threes to start the ball game. And lead nearly at 20 now. Lightholt driving in trouble. E. Conger holding his defensive position. 15 on the shot, 115 in the third quarter. Ketterling trying to shake Rohrbach. Pops and hits. Miss the second bucket for the senior Spencer Ketterling. The lead down to 16 and another timeout on the court. We'll pause a minute to go in the third. It's all nights as you watch Sodak 16 basketball from Aberdeen Ron Colley on HubCityRadio.com. Warner trying to stay close. Rob Waltman back at the Aberdeen Ron College Gym. So nice you will join us on this stream tonight. I am told we're setting more streaming records tonight. Talmadge, our technical producer, is saying we're blowing up the computer. Is that right? A little bit. Yeah, maybe not blowing it up. But, yeah, we're setting streaming records again tonight. Thank you very much for your interest in Aberdeen Christian Night basketball. And here are the nights after the timeout. Orbach tries another. Why not? Why not? Four threes for Andrew. He's got 21. 49-30. 40 seconds to go in the third. Top of the key, Warner. Trying to get something going. Driving and dishing. Ball swatted away. Kramer has it. He feeds it off to Ketterling. He'll shoot the three from the right corner. No, nothing will fall here for Warner. In this ball game. 19 biggest lead. Andrew says we are playing it for one and trying to go up by 20 plus here to end this third quarter of play. I mentioned the capacity is 1,400, I was told, in this gym, and we are right there. 1,400 ish tonight. Rohrbach driving, dishing. Becker for three. Right corner, nope. Rebounded by the Monarchs. Two seconds left, and that'll do it after three. After three, Sodak 16. Winner moves to the State B. It's all nights. Up by 19. This live stream is courtesy of HubCityRadio.com. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs>
12 years awaiting. One quarter away from a state B tournament appearance, the first ever for the Knights. Wow, it is upon us, folks. I am told we are just shy of a thousand streams. Call your neighbors, call your friends. Let's get this thing over a thousand tonight. We are right there, I am told. We are right there on the precipice of a thousand. Isaacson for three. No. Rebounded by Braun inside, and we're off and running here in this fourth quarter of play. Rob Waltman at the Aberdeen Ron College Inn. A packed house as expected. The line started this afternoon at about uh, 5 o'clock. And it was quite lengthy to get in a long wait, about 30 minutes. And then they opened the doors at 5.30. Ball is swatted out and goes back to Aberdeen Christian. And as you expected, this filled in rather quickly. The Knights filled their side first, and the Monarchs showed up shortly after that. Right now, 19-point night lead. Here comes Rohrbach driving, dishing. Wow. And he lost it. I'm not sure he was trying to feed that to Becker. They were just a little bit too close deep in the paint there. And here is a steal by Econger. Here comes Brandt in the open court. Drives on Lightholtz. Blocking foul. Blocking foul before the shot. Mr. Plantin says, I do believe before the shot. Oh, Brent would have liked to shake one down here at the Ron College gym. He would have loved to get those size 15s in the air and pound it home. The foul is called and the Knights throw in. Out to Isaacson. 19-point lead here for the Knights. Pearson stays on the bench with four fouls. Andrew drives, shakes his defender, throws it up with one hand. No good. And rebounded backside by Braun. 49-30, still the 19-point uh, lead. And Warner was down by 13 after one quarter of play, and it's primarily been that all night long. Made a couple of mini moves in this game with Lightholt leading the way here in the third, and there he is again, and another timeout taken by Warner. He has 14, trimming the lead to 17. We'll break as well as you watch playoff basketball from the Ron County Gym from HubCityRadio.com. Seventeen, the lead. Warner taking timeout. Lightholt trying to keep the Monarchs in this ball game. What a huge mountain to climb against the twenty and two, number one rated Aberdeen Christian Knights. Andrew Rohrbach doing his thing again tonight. He has twenty-one four threes in the ball game. Thirty-seven the other night, a career high, and here he is, minutes away from a state B appearance. Top of the key, Isaacson. Now the defensive Warner pushing out a little more, a little more persistent here. Trying to push the Knights off the circle. It's thrown away out of bounds. Last touch by Warner, leaving 14 on the shot clock. Here comes Pearson as he has not seen many minutes. Early foul trouble. Then picked up that third and then that fourth early in the, uh, in the second half. And Jared has yet to break a sweat here tonight, but they have the commanding lead. He'll check in. Here is Rohrbach, 10 on the shot clock, feeding Pearson. One bounce, lost it into the hands of Jung, and here come the Monarchs. A bucket here would make it interesting. Warner driving, Lightholt, there he goes again. Pulls up over Econger, and Lightholt with 16 points for the junior. Cuts this down to 15 with 5.50 to go. So still some work to do here for the Knights. Cannot let off the gas. E. Conger, free throw line, feeding into Pearson. Gets his man in the air, and a foul is called. Either Lightholt or Braun. Lightholt, two shots for Jared. Had a bucket early, and now back in. He will play college ball at a uh, college north of Des Moines. 
next year in Iowa. Will Jared Pearson missed that first one. Younger brother still coming through the system. Garrett is an eighth grader. He's 5'9". Jared standing 6'4". Here is another traveling. Warner has turned it over on the travel tonight at least three or four times in this one. 16 still the lead, 5.37 to go. And this crowd will go nuts here at the Aberdeen Ron College Gym. The Knights can finish the deal up. Punch their ticket to the State B. Weaker deep in the right corner. Doubled up. In trouble. Rotates and pivots. Throws to Pearson. Now he finds Becker. Wide open. Left side. His three no good. They fall ice cold from the three here in this half. Ball is loose and picked up on the deck by Jung. And he throws it ahead to Fishback who will drive. And rejected by Econger. Picked back up by Braun. Five minutes left in this one. Monarchs trying to make it interesting. Top of the key, Fishback driving, shooting, 14-footer no. Rebounded by Andrew, wants to run. Three on two to Econger, basket good. Brett Econger with 10. 52-34, to 34. 4.40 to go. Jung will drive back the other way, steps to the defense, lost the basketball, and it's saved into the hands of Econger. Here comes Andrew again, crossover right to left, down the lane, off the window, missed it short, rebound by Warner. 4.27 to go, back to Jung, he'll drive on Becker, works inside, sweeps across the lane, hook shot, no, Braun is there, he'll put it up and in off the window. Just the second bucket tonight for Alex Braun. And the Monarchs stay close, 52-36. Aberdeen Christian the lead in the ball. High screen by Becker, Rohrbach around it. And Brett has it and fired it to the baseline. Nobody home. Out of bounds, it sails on a turnover on the Aberdeen Christian Knights. Should the Knights win, I believe there'll be a two seed at the State B tournament. Should Viberg Hurley win, as the Knights played them in the Corn Palace without their star, that night he was out with a twisted ankle. Chase Mason, semifinal Friday night, could be a clash of the Knights and Feinberg Hurley. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but it could line up that way. It could be a rematch of that night in the Corn Palace with Chase Mason in uniform. So we'll see how it plays out here as there's a loose ball, Andrew fighting. And wrestling with light hold and a timeout is called. We'll break as well. 52-36, Aberdeen Christian here at the Ron County Gym. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> back to that state tournament looking ahead I, if to Smith Weinberg Hurley and Aberdeen Christian all advanced tonight I would assume to Smith would be one Christian would be two and Weinberg Hurley would be three which would put the Knights on a collision course in the semis with Weinberg Hurley what a rematch that would be huh for the right to go to the state championship here is Spencer Kettling driving to the rim off the inbounds and can't get it to go and a rebound by Jackson Isaacson 52-36 here. Here comes Isaacson driving and dishing. Picked up by Warner on the turnover. And another steal. Rohrbach. Rohrbach racing to the rack and lays it up and in. 23 for Andrew. Averaging nearly a triple-double this season is the senior. Just shy of 19, just shy of 9 in the rebound and assist category. It's amazing. 
Three minutes to go. Baseline jumper, Lightholt, no good. Rebounded by Ekonger with three minutes exactly. And the Knights can push it to their biggest lead tonight with the basket here. Into Ekonger. He lost it on the wood. Picked up by Warner. And Warner does not give up. 2.48 to go. Driving is Ketterling to the baseline. He'll step back for three. No good. Rebounded Isaacson. Two minutes, 40 seconds away from the state B berth for Rohrbach and his crew of Knights. Here they are. Isaacson, three, good. That's the biggest lead tonight. Three threes and 13 points for Jackson Isaacson. 21-point lead with 2.20 to go. Lightholt will try to answer. Nope, rebounded by Rohrbach. 57-36. Thank you for joining us on our live stream all season long here for the Knights. A foul is called. We will uh, send you to South Dakota Public Television on their website. They will stream the state championship game, so you can catch that, pick that up on your laptop at home, wherever you may be listening here nationwide. That'll start a week from uh, Thursday. Big thanks to Talmadge, Econger, and Brent, Econ, or Brent, I should, I always say that, Brian, Talmadge and Brian for uh, being the producers, the technical coordinators, figuring it all out to uh, get us to this point, to get that stream out there so you can enjoy the Christian Knights. Two minutes to go. And uh, a whistle again, and a foul on the Knights. So with that, it'll be Warner basketball. As we are at the two-minute mark here in this one. Twelve years of organized basketball, and their ticket awaits to the State B. As they will go in the top-rated team, but probably the two-seed in the tournament. And here's an offensive foul called on Warner. They're going to get uh, fish back. Still no sense of celebration here on the uh, players' faces for Aberdeen Christian, although this one is in the bag. It'll be uh, fun to see the joyous eruption when the horn sounds. Andrew. Feeds Isaacson. Back up to Rohrbach. Now Becker. Now back up to Rohrbach, driving and dishing Isaacson, wide open, Pearson, head fake, goes up, got it, and the foul for Jared Pearson. Just five tonight for Pearson with those fouls early and sat most of the night in foul trouble. But the lead is now about to be 24, which is the biggest tonight as Jared steps to the stripe. Foul is on Ty Kramer. He's new to the ball game. And Monarchs will finish up their season 13 and 9. Knocked off Leola Frederick. There is Andrew Rohrbach coming out. He is done for the night. 23 tonight for Rohrbach. Yep. He is on his way to the State B. Here comes Brent Econger. What a game he had tonight. And he is pumped. Clear to the bench. To the other end, high-fiving. Jared looking for the free throw. Going to go. Got it. And now Pearson will step out. And he'll get a hand from David Robach and his coaches. And watch the celebration here tonight. Isaac's in out. And we'll finish this one up with 126 to go with Weaker and Brennan and Kretschmann and Caden Clark in the ball game and Joey Johnson for Aberdeen Christian. They are headed to the Barnett Center. Now their travel here through this regional tournament has been very, very, very nice. Civic Arena twice, cross town to Ron Colley. We'll get a cab after this and head down to the Barnett Center, about two and a half minutes away. And that, no travel time here for these Knights at all, with the B being in town in their backyard. 
Joey Johnson has it, gives to Brennan. He'll drive to the rim, left-handed layup to her. Wow, Andrew Brennan nicely done. 62 to 36. We will stick around to see the hardware being handed out here on the post game. We will not exit immediately. We'll be able to see the Knights get their hardware here and the celebration. So we'll zoom on that. So stay here with our stream to see the post game celebration on the court. The foul is called on Kretschmann and free throws coming for Ty Kramer for Warner and he hits one. Weaker coming out. Brendan Staff is going to get in. Caden Clark had to step in tonight early and often when Jared Pearson picked up foul trouble. And that happened early, and what a game he had tonight. Caden Clark stepped in and uh, did what he needed to do defensively and keep this thing rolling. Great game by the freshman. Another foul after the missed free throws. Warner going to shoot some more. Devin Phipps, a 6'3", senior Abe Kretschmann with the foul. Previous foul was on Kretschmann. I think then they got Brendan Staff after that. And a host of subs coming in. Everybody going to get a little action here for David Rohrbach to enjoy the moment. And this place is about to go nuts. What a nice facility, the Aberdeen Ron College Gym. It really is. Great court. Great look. Well done. I had not been in this facility for some 25 years when I was doing play-by-play -play for the Cavaliers way back in the mid-90s. It's been a while, and I think they got a new court since then. It's really nice. It's really nice. Drive to the rim. Garrett Pearson, Jared's younger brother. Eight seconds and count it down. 64-38, rebound put back, swatted out of bounds by Joey Johnson, and 1.2 seconds left, and the Knight fans about to go crazy. Again, we will stay on this stream, so stick with us here. We will stay on this as long as we can. Here is free throws for the uh, Monarchs. First one no good for Chase Braun. He's a 5'11 junior. Thirteen point first quarter lead and it just kept growing here tonight. Shot no good, put back not in time and that's it. Let's just watch on camera here at midcourt. 64-38, the final. Aberdeen Christian 12 years with a basketball team they are now going to be at the state B tournament down the street at the Barnett Center they have won their 21st and their 14th in a row the Aberdeen Christian Knights led by David Rohrbach and Michael Rohrbach and Sam Palmer and Jared Becker the coaches Dave Palmer starting it years ago Getting this program up and running and too many to mention all along the way that helped this program get to where they are now. Eric Klein, the superintendent, now down with Terry Dosh, the former Ron Cowley football coach. Getting ready to get the hardware. Terry Dosh will hand it to Eric Klein here. And Eric will take it center court and deliver it to the Knights. Waiting for the PA man, courtside here, Mr. Dosh looking up. All right, we're ready to go. Listen in.
Garrett Pearson. Number 20, Ben Roll. Number 22, Garrett Pearson. Number 23, Brent Econ. Number 24, Jeff Becker. Number 32, Hayden Clark. March Madness. Oh, what a wonderful time of year. The hardware is out at center court. David Rohrbach and his Knights have done it. The State B starts a week from Thursday here in Aberdeen's Barnett Center. Numbers. David, uh, let's see, Andrew Rohrbach. 23, a game-high 23 for Rohrbach. Jackson Isaacson, 13. Malik Weaker had five. Jared Pearson had five. Brent Econger with 10. And a bushel of rebounds. And Jet Becker hit a three early in this one. And in Lightholt led the way for Warner with 16 points. Thanks again, Talma G. Conger, our producer for this stream. Thanks for joining us all season long. South Dakota Public Television brings you the State Bees. You can stream those live wherever you may be listening across the nation. And thanks to you for tuning in. Aberdeen Christian Night Basketball, our final tonight. Aberdeen Christian 64 and Warner 38. This is Rob Waltman saying so long. And this has been a live stream courtesy of HubCityRadio.com. This activity was brought to you by this station, its advertisers, and the members of the South Dakota High School Activities Association. No rebroadcast in whole or in part may be made without the written permission of the South Dakota High School Activities Association.